Oh, hey, David. Did you bring enough for me? Oh, sure. I can share some with you. And my friends, too? Ooh, uh, how many friends are we talking about? Uh, five? Jeez, Casey, I don't think there's enough food for wait, five. Wait, 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 you didn't let me finish. Five thousand. <laughs> Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Journey Today Show. My name is Casey. And I'm David. Mm, that was delicious. And by the way, my friend said thanks. Oh, uh, it's my pleasure. You know, it's amazing how tiny a sandwich is when you split it 5,000 ways. Speaking of tiny, let me show you something. Take a look at this tiny capsule. Do you ever feel like you only have a tiny bit of time to give to Jesus? Do you ever feel like you only have a tiny bit of talent to give to Jesus? Do you ever feel like you only have a tiny bit of money to give to Jesus? In the Bible story for today, there's a boy who probably felt that way. He only had a tiny bit to give to Jesus, but he gave it all, and Jesus did big things with it. Oh, I get it. Wait. I don't get it. What are these capsules supposed to be doing? Are they gonna turn into a chicken sandwich? Because I am still really hungry. No, sadly they, they won't. But just wait, it'll make more sense in a little bit. In the meantime, I think that we should read the Bible story. So how about this? In just a second, press pause and open your Bible. Then read the verses on the screen, and when you're finished, we'll see you back here. That little boy only had five small loaves and two small fish. He could never have imagined that his little bit of food would feed more than 5,000 people. But he gave the little bit that he had to Jesus, and Jesus did big things with it. You are so right. And you know what? Speaking of two small fish, I have an idea for a challenge, but I don't think you're going to like it. Oh, no. What are you thinking? All right, this is a can of sardines. A sardine is a small fish. I think we should race to see who can eat two small fish the fastest. What do you think? Uh, this sounds terrible. Yeah, I but, know. Uh, they have tails. They do, they've got the tails to them still. Um, but okay, okay, you're, you're, you're ready for this? You're, you're on, you're on. Okay, on your mark. Get set, go! Uh, oh, oh. Mm. Oh. Mm. oh, oh, it's so fishy! No. Oh. Oh. oh, one, I've got one. Me too, me too. Mm. I haven't followed it yet, though. Me either. Oh, yep, these are definitely fish. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. Almost, almost. Mm -hmm. I got it. No! Mm. Ah. Done! Oh, that was so close. That was like a photo finish. I think you might have had it, though. Oh, oh by a know. tail. You won by, by a, a tail. tail. Oh, my goodness. Oh, oh. that was the worst. You know, oh. even though I won, I feel like I lost. Yeah, I think it kind of feels like we both lost. I'm still hungry. And now I'm like a little bit sick, too. But there's no way that two small fish like that could feed 5,000 people without a little bit of help from Jesus. You're so right. And that's kind of what I was trying to show you earlier with these tiny capsules. I asked if you ever feel like that little boy, like you only have a little bit to give to Jesus. It's easy to think that your tiny bit of time or, or tiny bit of talent or tiny bit of money couldn't make a big difference in the world. It's easy to think that what you have to offer Jesus isn't any bigger than this tiny little capsule. But do you remember what we did with these capsules earlier? Yeah, you put them in this water labeled Jesus. Yeah, that's right. And look what happened to them. What used to be tiny is now much bigger. 
And, and this is just a small example of what Jesus can do. Because in real life, when you give the tiny bit you have to Jesus, he is able to do big things with it, far more than we could ever ask for or even imagine. Hey, you know what? That's what our Bible verse for today says. Take a look at this. God is able to do far more than we could ever ask for or imagine. He does everything by his power that is working in us. Ephesians 3, 20. I love how that verse says far more. Not just a little bit and not just an average amount. Because of his power, Jesus can take our tiny bit of time, our tiny bit of talent and our tiny bit of money and do far more with it than we could ever ask for or imagine. Yeah, can you imagine for a minute how Jesus could use your small gifts to do big things? I mean, imagine if you shared a few small words of encouragement with a friend who was discouraged. Jesus could use those few words to make a big difference in their life. Or imagine if you spent a small amount of time running a lemonade stand and raising money for a missionary. Jesus could do big things with that small amount of money to spread his good news all over the world. You know, that makes me think of a good question. What kinds of little things could you do that might make a big difference in someone's life? Press pause and discuss. Oh, oh yeah, it's still bad. Oh, hey everybody, welcome back. I hope you had some great conversation. You know, sometimes we don't give our time talent or money to Jesus because we don't think we have enough to make any difference. But that's not true. Even if you only have a tiny bit to give, give it to Jesus and he can do big things with it. Amen. Hey everybody, thanks for joining us today. We'll see you again next week. Yeah, see you next week everybody. Bye. Oh, they look just like fish. <laughs> oh no.